Today I am going to show you how to get an extended desktop on your Windows computer. Um, as you can see, that's my primary one, all my desktop icons, etc. I also have this separate display, which you can display any program you want on, which is pretty cool, to be honest. So I'll show you exactly how to do this. This is my Acer Aspire 1 netbook, uh, which I got for Christmas, which is pretty cool. So uh, I'll jump in and show you what to do. So this is the standard desktop on um, my netbook here. So there's me playing golf. So literally all you need to do is plug in your monitor, which I'll do now, which may take some time because it's a very old, there we go, right. Okay, so that's plugged in and it's just gone doo-doo, which is a good sign. Uh, we'll just wait here. Okay, so, right. Yeah, that should be it. So the monitor is already set up. So you right click properties and wait for it to load. There we go. Hit settings. Then select your second monitor, which will be so just click it. And then click extend Windows desktop onto this monitor. Click apply. And yep, there we go. I, I'll show you a video of what it looks like on your desktop monitor now. So now you've done that, this is what your desktop should look like. So you've got your extended monitor up there at the top, and your standard monitor there on your netbook. Um, so I'll show you what you can do. You can, I, I use this all the time, just if I want to divide schoolwork with all this sort of stuff. So you can just get drag an icon, drag it off the right hand side of your screen. And it'll appear up there on your desktop, uh, on your extended desktop. And I'll do that with a few more. Select, I'll select Picasso, FileZilla, and my screensavers. Drag them across. You can see that. And there we go. They appear there. So you can just let go, and they should do that. Now, another thing that I love to do this for is use iTunes. I've got my iTunes open there, and if I just get that. Click it with your left button and drag it over to the right hand side of your screen again. It'll appear on the extended desktop, so double click that. And uh right, we'll open we'll open cars, because cars cars is a great film. So there we go, we'll have cars up there. Um and go back on uh standard desktop and you can do everything. So while cars is playing you can watch it. And you can go on I don't know Facebook and you can go on Facebook while the movie's still playing. So it's the easiest thing in the world and it'll work on any monitor. It's cheap and cheerful and it's just brilliant. Especially if you do best thing is for media and video editing and all that sort of shiz. Because you can literally do anything. It's class. Uh, you can have your video editing software open on the top screen. And your, all your folders, files and folders over there. So you can just drag them straight across. Um, and the world's your lobster. Whatever. <laughs> but there you go. <laughs> that is how to get an extended desktop on your netbook or laptop or desktop. So, uh, bye.